I keep getting comments that if I was in Gaza, I would be killed for being queer. And first off, there are queer people in Gaza and they're being killed for being Palestinian. I hate to break it to you, but that's not the reason why. Do you want to see what it looks like when a Queers for Palestine actually meets a Palestinian? Seems mostly peaceful. Almost like they could be friends. Isn't that interesting? It's almost like there's conflicting beliefs there. And the Palestinian people, it's almost like they don't respect homosexuality. It's almost as if it goes against their religion so much that they are not accepting of them in any capacity. It's almost as if they subscribe to such a severe and strict doctrine that they limit the human rights of other people. Wow, isn't that crazy? And you know, the funny thing is to me, haha, -ha, is that the people that advocate for Queers for Palestine, the people that are advocating in the streets, the protesters that are saying, from the river to the sea, Palestine will be free. These individuals are some of the most ignorant people potentially on the planet. Let's roll this next clip. As from the river to the sea, Palestine will be free. Yeah. Um, can you tell me which river and which sea we're talking about here? <laughs> I this is a, a you, you've caught me on the spot and I'm really horrible oh, when, when okay. asking questions. But basically the, the river and the sea that, that border both sides of Palestine where Israel is right now. Oh yes, it's the river and the sea where Palestine is. If this was Family Feud, we'd be turning over and there'd be, there'd be nothing on the board for that answer. The answers you're looking for here is the Jordan River and the Mediterranean Sea. You see, here's the problem with the people on the left. They like to just be outraged for the sake of being outraged. They have a lot of built up aggression. They're upset about things that they probably shouldn't be upset about. And sometimes they just want attention. So they're going out there and they're pandering and they're just repeating what they're told to repeat, regardless of any truth, regardless of any knowledge behind the things they're saying, they're simply just repeating what they're hearing. Oh, let me parrot that ideology because some college course told me to, or because my leftist friends said this is the new cool thing to do. Think for yourself. And if you're going to go out there and shout to the river or from the river to the sea, Palestine will be free. Maybe just maybe, and you can let me know down in the comments, you should know which river and which sea you're talking about. And also, that's a call for genocide, mind you. So you should probably consider that. I know that's kind of the big thing there is it's a call for genocide. You know, with all the technological advancements we have in our society and access to information, I mean, it's right at our fingertips. People are somehow more ignorant now than ever before. Anyways, if you are out there protesting, don't you think you ought to know what you're talking about? Let me know down in the comments. I think maybe at the very least you do a little bit of homework just a or while you're standing there chanting, you got an iPhone in your pocket or whatever. You got a phone, you got a smartphone. Just look it up. Hey, what am I saying right now? Is what I'm saying right now a good thing? It just, it, it boggles my mind how we've gotten to this point in our modern day society. How are people so ignorant and lack the ability to critically think about incredibly basic concepts? So for me to you, do us all a favor. Please stop. Why don't you go do, do something productive for society? I'm not sure. Maybe you do do something productive for society. This isn't one of them. So please get some help. Stop it. Get some help. Anyways, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. My name is Beans. Thank you for watching The Daily Beans. Have a blessed day.